Good morning, AACS students and staff members. My name is Jorge Solorzano. I serve as the lead pastor of Access Church here in Annapolis. And um, in fact, our church meets in this very building every Sunday morning. So I am uh, truly honored and excited to be bringing the word to you today. Uh, We're going to be meditating on the importance and meaning of Thanksgiving. Uh, we are in the month of Thanksgiving, and on November 26th, we all, uh, perhaps in a little different way, because everything that is going on around us right now, uh, are going to be uh, in the spirit of Thanksgiving. We all are going to be expressing our thankfulness to God and to others around us in one way or another. And, and, and the question here is, uh, why a full month? Why a full-blown day to celebrate Thanksgiving? Why is it that thankfulness is so important? And I'm talking about thankfulness beyond uh, than a day or a month of celebration. I I'm talking about th thankfulness according to God. Because it is important to God. And the outcomes of being a thankful person are so powerful. Uh, Philippians 4, 6, and 7 says this, uh, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And listen to this. This is the outcome. This is the result when we do this. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So, uh, thankfulness is uh, important first and foremost because it honors God. Because that's what God wants us to do, to come before Him with a thankful heart. And number two, thankfulness is important because it blesses us. It's good for our minds and for our hearts. It keeps us in peace. Uh, you see it in the text. And, and uh, let me uh, just get a little deep, deeper here. Uh, to do that, let me give you a definition of what thankfulness is. Uh, let me, my proposal to you is that thankfulness is the recognition of God's favor and blessings in our lives. And I'm not talking only about material blessings, but spiritual blessings also. Uh, you see, uh, the Apostle Paul in the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 3, says that uh, everything who is in Christ, that is, everything who uh, believes in Christ as uh, their Lord and Savior, is blessed with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. Uh, the Apostle Paul goes on to list uh, a series of 30 or so blessings we receive when we believe in Christ as our Lord and Savior. Let, let me just give you three real quick. Number one, he says that our sins are forgiven. Number two, he says that we are adopted into the family of God. And number three, uh, we are given an inheritance that is awaiting for us in heaven. In short, if you are in Christ, if you believe in Christ as your Lord and Savior, you and I are overwhelmingly blessed. And we are to be thankful for that. Now, material possessions, they are a blessing from God as well. The Bible says that every good gift comes from the Lord. It might seem to you that the material things you have are the result of your work or effort or the work and effort of your parents or those around you. But, but uh, no, the Bible says that everything that you have is a blessing from the Lord. So uh, recognizing uh, this powerful truth is what the Bible calls thankfulness. The recognition that 
Everything we have and everything we are comes from the Lord. The recognition of God's favor and blessings in our lives. Now, how do you how do you know, how do we know that we are being thankful? Let me give you two practical uh, ways or evidences uh, so, so you can know you are actually being thankful. And number one, you are content with what you have. And you are not focused on the things you don't have. You know how it goes. Latest iPhone comes out. I don't know which one is it right now. iPhone 12 or something like that. It's, it's, it's crazy now. And, and all of your friends have it, except you. How, how do you feel when that happens? Do you feel like you know, you want to show your phone? <laughs> your iPhone 10 or 8? I don't know. You, do you feel envy? Do you fee, feel jealousy? Do you feel... You, you, that means that you are not being thankful. If you if if you don't if you're not content with what you have, if you don't have peace in your heart, that's what the passage we just read says, right? And the peace of God will guard your hearts and your minds. So you can be you can be content uh, with the iPhone 10 or the 8. You, you can be content. Now, if you have the 4, there's something wrong going on. You have to talk to your parents. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You get the point. Contentment with what you have is an evidence that you are being thankful. Peace in your heart is an evidence that you are being thankful. A another practical way to know if you are being thankful is by recognizing and voicing your thankfulness to those around you. Th those who, who are constantly serving you and blessing you. Oftentimes we are not even aware. We don't appreciate the things that others do for us. For instance, uh, all the work and effort uh, uh, from your teachers at school, from the, from the, the staff of the school, uh, from your parents, uh, from that friend that shared, uh, you know, his meal uh, or, I don't know, helped you when you had a, a situation going on in your life. Uh, are we thankful with them? Just the fact that you are, you are able to attend to this private school is a blessing. You know, from where I, where I come from, I come from El Salvador. Uh, there, there are so many kids there that when they go to school, they go to this shack with dirt floors and a hundred students with one teacher. Uh, what you have, and, and talking about the students here, it's a blessing. Be thankful. Be thankful because you are having this opportunity due to the work and sacrifice of your parents. And ultimately, because God is blessing your life with it. Be thankful. And let, Jim, let me just finish here with a very practical challenge. Uh, because uh, as someone said this, that the key for happiness is thankfulness you know when we are not thankful we're we're not appreciative we're always lacking peace we're not a blessing for others and when we are thankful the opposite happens we are full of peace we are healthy in our hearts in our minds we are joyful all the time we are in peace with ourselves we're honoring God and we are a blessing for others. And this is a practical exercise I want to uh, uh, leave you with here. Through the thick of the pandemic, 
uh, March, April, I was feeling so anxious, so uh, lacking peace. And I asked the Lord, why, why am I feeling this way? Or, or better said, because I know many people are feeling this way, how can I change this? And he, and he showed me that the key was to be thankful. To not focus on the concerns and the worries and the problems around me, but to focus on the blessings I have in my life despite uh, all the problems that are going on around me. And he led me to uh, uh, first thing in the morning when I wake up, do this. When I open my eyes, I say, thank you, Lord, for Jesus Thank you for my wife. Thank you for my kids. Thank you for my job. Thank you for my friends. Thank you for the little things, for the car I have. Thank you for the house you provided for me. Thank you for the food you provide for me. I started doing this every single day until today when I opened my eyes first thing in the morning. And I'm telling you, my life has changed. My attitude has changed so much because now I'm thankful for everything, um, for God's favor and blessings in my life. I want to challenge you to do the same. Uh, consider doing this exercise. First thing in the morning when you open your eyes, think about the things you are thankful for. In fact, when this video is done or right now, whenever you get a chance, uh, make a list there in, on your notebooks, make a list of the things you are thankful for. And just go through it first thing in the morning. That's it from me. Hey guys, uh, I'm sure uh, somebody's going to close us in prayer just for the sake of time. I'm going to wrap it up here just saying this. Remember that in Christ, you are overwhelmingly blessed. Be thankful for it. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.